You've already learned how to make your own variables and use them. So now we're going to learn about two special variables, mouse x and mouse y. Now you never have to make these variables yourself, and in fact you shouldn't, because they already exist. You see the program sets the value of these variables behind the scenes, making sure that value of mouse x is always the x position of your mouse, and the value of mouse y is always the y position of your mouse. This makes it really easy to do cool interactive things based on the user's mouse position. Let's look at this ellipse that I'm drawing here. So right now I'm always drawing it 200, 200. If I use mouse x and mouse y, these special variables, then I could actually draw it at mouse x and mouse y. Now if I move my mouse over the canvas, you can see ellipse is always being drawn where my mouse is. So it follows my mouse around. That's pretty cool. Can you tell what I'm drawing? Whee! If you're going to use mouse x and mouse y, you've got to make sure that you use them inside the draw function. Because look what happens if we move these two lines of code outside the draw function. You see? Now, they, this, this code here, it only gets run once. So this ellipse is only drawn once, and it's drawn wherever my mouse happened to be at the very, very beginning of the program. So that's why we need to have it inside the draw function, because the draw function is this function that's called repeatedly over and over while our program is running. So we want that when it gets called, then it looks at what the current value, mouse x and mouse y is, and then it draws the ellipse at that position. If you think about it, it's actually very similar to an animation. It's changing over time, just in a different way. Okay, so now we can do all sorts of fun things. So what if, instead of drawing it in mouse x and mouse y, I drew it at mouse x still, but then I fixed mouse y at something like 300. And now, you can see the ellipse only follows my x-coordinate, ignoring whatever I do on the y. Yeah, so then, what if I now draw it at mouse x and mouse y, we'll bring that back, but I get rid of the background and just comment that out. Okay, whoo, now look, now we've got this funky paintbrush kind of thing. That's pretty awesome. Or, or I could even switch these variables. Let me bring back in our background, okay. So I'll switch these variables here, mouse y, mouse x, and then see what happens. Okay, now it just feels really, really, really weird because I've got these mouse controls that are doing opposite of what I expect them to do. But that's cool. You can imagine even making a whole game which is about trying to draw something or do something while using inverted mouse controls. So that's it for mouse x and mouse y. Really pretty fun. Enjoy!